This is a production of Cornell University. how to wind a bobbin in case you're not sure. You leave about a two inch tail, then place it on the bobbin, secure it with your thumb, and then start going around and around the bobbin from the top to the bottom, securing the tail down. And then you do that until the bobbin is as full as you would like it. Here are a lot of bobbins that are already wound. And this is a small loom for mat weaving. As you can see, it has um, about five grooves running horizontally through it. And what you're going to do is grab two bobbins and tie the ends together. And once that is done, you will secure them at the end of the bobbin where there's a slit so that it doesn't roll away. And you will drape it over one of the grooves. Once you're done draping all five bobbins for the small loom, you can grab any type of stick you like. For example, this is hay, <laughs> and these are um, pipe cleaners. Um, these are just plants that you can find around the Ithaca area or any area with forests. So you can have a lot of fun with this, whether you want it to be decorative or functional. You place the stick in the middle and then gently, without, um, without letting the string escape the ditch, <laughs> you turn them over. You see it's really easy for the string to escape. So when that happens, you grab the bobbin again and you wind it up and secure it again. So our first stick is done and it's secure. Um, you might start getting the idea that as you go on with your mat, the part that is done will start going under the loom and you can keep working on the top. So as you can see, the mat has been advanced and you can see it um, advancing at the bottom of the loom and um, you can make it as long as you like and just keep putting whatever material you like on top and crossing the bobbins. Make sure to keep the string um, secure at the top of the bobbin so that there's a little bit of pressure and the mat is not too loose. Once your mat is done, um, what you will do is cut the string and tie it one by one. Um, and let me show you how you would do that. Um, so you would cut here and here and tie each string together. And you can be as creative as you like about this. You can weave with ribbons and you can make a nice bow at the end. Um, so just be imaginative and creative. Once you're done, um, this is for example what it would look like um, with everything tied together. Um, these are samples of different materials you can use. These are skewers, this is goldenrod, this is miscanthus, these are uh, midribs from palm leaves, um, this is um, wheat, you can also use barley. This is raffia, this is more palm, and these are left over from an old blind. These are sticks from an old blind that we cut up. So you can be as crazy as you like, um, the materials that you use. Mm -hmm. 